I want Charlie oh. to do the intro. Okay, hey, welcome to the official podcast, episode 261. We just had our longest episode last week with a two-hour montage of highlights, and now we're back to oh, yeah. keep up that intense energy with Jackson's riveting topic. <laughs> yeah, so this week I'm going to push it into overdrive, and we're going to do three hours of montage and only 30 minutes of podcast. Sweet. So it'll, Eventually it'll, we it'll, won't it'll even have to, to do be a about podcast. The same. It'll be about the same amount of... Co- well, that's what I was advocating for early on in the show. If you guys remember, I was always a fan of the whole rerun idea. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it, look, look it at last week. People, surprise. people ate it up. They loved it. It's, uh, yeah, it, was it was a project nice. that had been in the works for like two months. I had like a team of people working on going back through all of the podcast episodes Aww. and cutting out moments well, and Thank stuff. you to all of them. Good Lord. Thank you to all of the fans sending in their recommendations for clips that was very sweet i actually yeah, sat down right. and listened to some yeah so did i it was very nice to go back through the memories and uh yeah hear them again a lot of moments that i had forgotten about mostly to do with doug fan favorite <laughs> um yeah. yeah i miss doug wait yeah, was that my topic? riveting topic jackson i don't know um, you tell us was that your topic <laughs> I guess so. We'll see you guys next week. <laughs> All right, play the clips. <laughs> <laughs> play no, last so, week's episode again. So there was some recent news actually to do with Roblox, and it's not my topic because I don't play Roblox. I'm not a fucking loser who plays Roblox. But there is one man in this call who uh, who is known to mingle around with those parts of the internet, Who's um, that and that's Kaya. So why what? don't you tell us about <laughs> Roblox? Don't spread misinformation. I've never played that. My you... autism is directed towards <laughs> Minecraft. You somehow picked out of the three of us the one who had never played Roblox. <laughs> that was the joke. But he, he did post it now. Um, um, Discord. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I saw it. this on Twitter. So this is from The Verge. Roblox sues YouTuber for temporarily shutting down conference with fake terrorist threats. <laughs> <laughs> like in game, in universe? No, yeah, wait. It was um, uh, on the public Twitter account uh, or a public Twitter account. And they were making threats against Roblox. Oh. Yeah. That's not okay. Yeah. Yeah, but um, let's see. Was it an online developers conference? Because I thought most of those things were online now. Or was it in person? Um, I guess it was in person. I don't know. I mean, this was apparently in October this year. So, I mean, if they're all vaxxed and whatnot, I'm sure maybe they mm, met in true. person. So according to this article, the worst damage allegedly came during the Roblox developers conference in October. And the lead up to the conference, the suit says Simon... That's the YouTuber, I guess, quote, engaged his followers on Discord, glamorizing the April 3rd, uh, 2018 active shooter and murder at YouTube headquarters in San Bruno. Oh, my God. I remember that. That was a girl with the like headband, right? She dressed up like John Rambo. Didn't she she, kill herself? Yeah, she was mad that she got demonetized, right? Yeah, she was a YouTuber that was really <laughs> upset about the, that her channel was demonetized. So she went to the headquarters with a gun and started shooting. That was shooting. a girl? Yeah, what what do you mean? You knew that. Yeah, that I thought it woman, was a guy. Whoa, whoa. That's what crazy. difference no. does it make, Jackson? I mean, it doesn't make a difference, but I never hear of any female mass shooters, so that is a first, really. Well, it wasn't a mass shooter. She went there, started shooting, and ended up only killing herself. But yeah, she did go I'm there with the intention sure. of killing everyone. So it was an attempted mass shooting. She, yeah. she just didn't stick the landing, yeah. luckily. Yeah. I, I also don't think it was just because of the demonetization. I, she was, like, legitimately schizophrenic or something. Well, yeah. Obviously, anyone who conducts a mass shooting is probably mentally ill to some degree. Uh, no one who's sane yeah. or rational goes and does that. Um, apart from this Roblox guy, um, apparently. Because he made some very good points in his Roblox manifesto. What, 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 what were his demands? Okay, to continue... So, <laughs> um, he glamorized that shooter, uh, that shooter lady, and then quote continues threatening slash taunting a copycat act of terrorism at Roblox headquarters, telling followers to quote wait until someone does it to Roblox. Then during the conference, he tweeted that local police were searching for a fictitious, notorious Islamic extremist, and that the extremist had posted a video titled "Someone blow up Ro- Roblox now." 
Uh, meanwhile, his followers allegedly posted false active shooting threats and claimed to have poisoned the conference's drinks. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid from start to finish. But this is the part that really made me cringe here. Um, Polygon International reported the existence of the California lawsuit this morning. In it, Roblox says it banned Simon for attempting to upload a near-nude picture of himself, <laughs> images of Adolf Hitler, and a sex game that's forbidden on the kid-focused platform. Simon also allegedly harassed other members of the platform, used racial and homophobic slurs, and impersonated Roblox employees online, among other behaviors. So he's just a fucking troll. He's just uh, a little he's a bit dickhead. more than a troll. I think that transcends troll shit. Maybe. They're Hence all the accusations cat. right now, though. So apparently the Twitter account that was making the threats, from what I've read, is an account that pretended to be him. It wasn't his, like, actual account. So I guess we'll have to see what Roblox has on him in court. Well, I want to know what the motive behind this was, though. What, why did, like, what did Roblox do to him to make him want to act this way from what i can gather looking at his channel he is a giant roblox youtuber like a lot of views by playing roblox and he got banned a couple months ago but that should be on youtube's uh no 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 no, no banned oh, from roblox. roblox can't he just make a new account <laughs> well, here's where, that's what he does. Yeah, here's that's, where the story gets the... uh conflicting because his video after he got banned is called i'm back and I, I don't know, maybe he got banned <laughs> again or something, but... He kept no, circumventing bans using, yeah. like, a VPN and making other accounts. Yeah, so it very yeah, much seems like he's easy. bitter about the whole getting banned thing and every all do we that. Know, do we know why he got originally banned? Yeah, Kai just said he was originally banned for leading, like, sexual harassment campaigns against users as well as, like, racial and homophobic slurs. And then the picture, near nude photo of himself, Adolf Hitler in sex game. <laughs> okay, so fair enough. That's probably probably and against the, the terms way, of service. It says um, he continued accessing of. Roblox. He continued accessing Roblox using fake accounts, evading bans, uh, using different IP addresses. Roblox refers to this as hacking into the platform. Yeah, it's a VPN. It's not exactly, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. Neo from the Matrix. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Jacking into your thing, man. It'll happen, it happens. We well, To be fair, we don't know Ruben Sims' powers. He could he could have been hacking into their mainframe and changing the ones and zeros around to allow access back in, at least momentarily, before the Roblox engineers managed to trace his IP or something again. We don't know for sure. Yeah. Upload images of naked Hitler. <laughs> he just overloads know, the service with that. Is he like 14? Because uploading photos of Hitler is like very juvenile humor. I, I think yeah. that's fucking funny, though, when you read the list. So they have this list of like things he's done against the company and it, they just sneak that in. They're like discussing sexual acts, engaging in sexual harassment, uploading nude photographs with only a lampshade covering his genitals, using racial What's slurs, attempting to upload a sex game, attempting to upload pictures of Hitler, and attempting to use <laughs> profanity. It's like, it's like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> one of those is a little silly. Yeah, it's the lampshade one, right? <laughs> yeah. Why is that against the rules? That's tasteful. Yeah, it's, it's comedy. Odd. They don't know comedy. <laughs> Maybe he's just testing Holy the defenses. Shit. <laughs> They're uh, seeking 1.6 million in damages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeez. Jesus, what the fuck? How much did these Hitler pictures do to damage them? Was it like a Hitler NFT that, <laughs> that he stole? Um... Apparently, the bomb search cost them another 50,000. Oh, right. yeah, Not that the bomb part. search, but like the police investigation, I guess, into the conference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, cringe. Cringe from start to finish. Very embarrassing for the Simon guy, if it's but, true. Yeah. Ruben. If it's, if it, it, like Charlie said, it's alleged, so he could be innocent. It's, a, it's in sure. a weird place. So a lot of people are saying Roblox is doing this because they don't like him because he ex apparently he exposed one of their moderators who was like following and promoting furry porn on the Roblox main account or something like one of their <laughs> like, mods. 
What and is with oh. these companies? I mean, that's Whoopsie. that's not that is not surprising at all. That's what I mean. All these tech companies, why do yeah. they exclusively hire from the ferry pool? I have oh no fucking God. clue. But is it mandated by uh, HR? <clears throat> I have no idea. Oh my but God. So he pointed that out, and <laughs> apparently that's when he got banned for all of those things, and then this came out, so that people are saying that they're doing this just to get back at him for that. But I don't necessarily know if I buy that, because a Roblox moderator doesn't have the power to sue someone for $1.6 million on behalf of the multi-billion dollar company. From what I've seen, the person he exposed is a literal just moderator, like he vets things. He's he's more of like a grunt with a title than like an actual powerful figurehead is, at Roblox. Is he employed though by by yeah. Roblox? Yeah. So he's on the so they're, yeah, they're protecting their image then, and they're also suing him for the terrorist shit. The yeah, terrorist this Plus this lawsuit could also be furries. different. This lawsuit seems way more about protecting their image than what he's actually doing because he's making tons of troll videos and different accounts and. It seems like they're doing it to overall just be like, hey, stop fucking with us, you jerk. Well, stop yeah, uploading pictures of Hitler in a lampshade. People were saying that they were doing it to get back at him for exposing that mod, but I don't think a multi-billion dollar company is going to no. care about one mod on their team getting no. exposed on YouTube. No, not at all. It seems more Did like they they're trying to set an example like, don't do these kind of things to the company. If you looked into it, Charlie, did did he post furry porn or whatever you said? Fur, furry stuff? The, the guy that ruined the Sim? Yeah. yeah. The guy that he exposed apparently was like super thorough. I didn't watch the video. It was, it, it was like a lot and I don't, I don't know, I didn't feel like watching like a, a long <laughs> Roblox expose. But apparently he really did nail him pretty hard. Like that is not a person who should be in that position around kids or something. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't look well, into I that too deeply. I focused more on the lawsuit. Well, you never know, though. I mean, all of his uh, co-workers could also be furries all the way up to the chain. Maybe it is a furry conspiracy. And they're taking <laughs> yeah, it goes all the way to the top. Yeah. I, just like Discord, right? Discord full yeah, of furries exactly. employs furries. And mm -hmm. the moment people started dunking on them and making fun of them for it, they killed Wumpus. That's and they true. stopped and they dialed down the cringe. They didn't, <laughs> they didn't kill him. They just kind of... he. he you know, slid back into the shadows. Isn't, it's not like you know, the isn't there the company. official statement he's like, dead. "Oh, he's working behind the scenes now." Wasn't that uh -huh. what they put out at, at the one bottom point? of a river? I don't know. Cement shoes. The lore. <laughs> there, I think there was someone who asked. It was like, "Oh, where's Wumpus?" And they literally like posted it kind of in character. They were like, "Oh, he's working behind the scenes at the Discord office," and it's like he's clearly never coming back. <laughs> I just worried about Sprinkle the Elf or whatever the fuck his name Springle, was. Sprinkle. 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 Oh my god. Oh, oh. He, got killed, he got caught in the crossfire. He was Why'd a you bring that elf? Up? I, I haven't cringed today. Sprinkle and, the flubble yeah. thing oh, off. God. Wumpus, I get. I understand having a like animal or cute mascot to represent your company. I get that. But Sprinkle the Elf just twists all of my muscles inside out. I fucking hate that. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. What is seriously though? What is it about these tech companies that uh, attract so many of these furry individuals that make up like their moderation teams and their, I, I guess their marketing teams in terms they hire of each other, bro? They is it nepotism? Is it furry it nepotism? Works. Pretty much. I mean, remember when Reddit hired an honest-to-God pedophile who was married to a pedophile and whose father I was know. a convicted child I, rapist? I can't believe and that. And it took them like three days to budge and fire that fucker. And it was only after half of Reddit protested it, which was surprising in and of itself. But they pinned it on, oh, we didn't do enough of a background check. Like, dude, you can type his name into Google and the first thing you get is him being a pedo about everything. And it's like husband talking about how he wants to kidnap children and hurt them which was one of his actual tweets, like, that's what he fantasizes about. I don't buy this, that you had a slip, like, somebody obviously vouched for that creep for you to let him in, and I think that's just how it keeps happening. I, I think mean, it's... To their credit... Go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, a lot of them are good at their job. They are good programmers, for instance, which requires, like, a high level of autism and shit, and they, those people are more likely to be these weirdos. 
that goes along with what I was going to say. I think a lot of these people get hired through certain communities that are just really on the internet for a long period of time and for the majority of their day. And that just increases the likelihood they're going to join certain groups like furry or fandoms or whatever. You know, they're not going out on the street and hiring like <laughs> big socialites who are going around and constantly going outside. No, they want people who are savvy to the internet and programming and all that online yep. shit. So they're just more likely to do these things. But so someone in our Discord just wrote a comment saying tech recruiters used to be paid to attend furry conventions to scout people. So they actually <laughs> went out of their way to find <laughs> furries since they were the mo most likely population to contain talented developers, I assume, or skilled developers, <laughs> as you were saying, Andrew. Well, I so. wouldn't be I wouldn't be that surprised. I mean, if you think about it, they're a group that spends the majority of their time on yeah. the Internet. No, I could see it. Yeah. So they're going to be, I mean, for Discord, I would absolutely look in that group because you're wanting to build a program that's serving the internet and internet culture and doing all that stuff. So they would know. They'd be more qualified than, like, I don't know, some random programming guy who worked at a fucking call center for who knows how long, you know? These tech companies seem to me um, like cults that make money. That's the only <laughs> difference that I can see. <laughs> as uh what these tech companies are they're, they're, it's, they're just cults that make money all of the employees in them uh it's like groupthink. they all think the exact same thing and if you don't think the same as them you get booted pretty quickly it's um so may, maybe I, i'm curious to know how many discord fairies there are that didn't even want to be fairies but now they're fairies because they work at discord <laughs> they're just trying to fit in yeah. Uh, yif yif, am I right, guys? Uh, by the water cooler. Did you guys see that new furry porn? <laughs> he has to invest his 401k in a, a new fursuit to fit in. Ew. <laughs> it's the company no. uniform. Yeah, you have to wear it to the office. Uh, hey, Carl, did you happen to know Friday is amphibian day? Uh, you can be the toad or the frog, maybe. Oh. Dibs on the ovipositor. <laughs> oh, oh. Yum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, don't bother washing it. It's quicker that way. <laughs> they are holiday bonuses at Bad Dragon Dildo. Uh, <laughs> so, That's another uh, yeah, one. I guess we'll... we'll uh, all right. Well, sorry. Um, ha Andrew, how can yeah. I possibly look up Bad Dragon stuff and uh, <laughs> make it so that my parents don't find out about my search history? <laughs> how, can I, how can I do that? You sound desperate, Jackson. You sound I'm like you're desperate. screaming for a way to look at Bad Dragon with security and <laughs> yes. encrypted network access. Well, I exactly. can help you. It's going to be ExpressVPN. It doesn't matter what oh, website perfect. you're going to. You are going to be safer using ExpressVPN. Hackers can make up to $1,000 a person selling info on the dark web. Do you want to be someone else's income? That's kind of fucked. There's, a, there's some history to that statement. That's probably not very savory. We might have fought an entire civil war over it. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't be someone's commodity. Instead, use ExpressVPN to create a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so hackers can't steal your sensitive data. It would take a hacker with a supercomputer over a billion years to get past ExpressVPN's encryption. I love that statement. That's cool. All you have to do is fire up the app, click a button, and you're protected. Phones, laptops, tablets, and more stay secure on the go. We all use ExpressVPN for different purposes. I think Charlie and I Trolling are more... Roblox. Yeah, to get on our <laughs> Roblox account, our 13th, 14th account. <laughs> I think Charlie and I are more inclined to use it to watch different shows around the world on Netflix. For example, Canadian Netflix has different shows than Indian Netflix, than Japanese Netflix, etc. But there might be one person on this podcast who in the past has mentioned that uh, in, in a lot of ways, he can't use the internet without ExpressVPN. <laughs> like, literally. That's true, and... 
That used to be the case when I was uh, in Turkey visiting my mom. Now it's going to be the case in Germany too soon because we have a new coalition. And one of the ideas they're floating now is that they're going to have a they're going to have the government monitor the Internet for hate speech and quote unquote extremism. So that's oh what boy. my taxes are going to go to pay. Fun. Yeah, I'm going to stay on my VPN. <laughs> so you out there don't need to tell us your reason. It's OK. You can keep your privacy because you can get even more privacy by securing your online data today by visiting expressvpn.com slash official expressvpn.com slash official where you'll get an extra three months for free expressvpn.com slash official three months for free use it to secure your data or if you want a more casual use change your location and watch different streaming services around the world they've got different stuff they've got stuff that's in one country but not the other i think this might not still be the case but i think the entire fresh prince of bel-air is only on canadian netflix and that is a fantastic show please go watch it Using expressvpn.com slash official. I don't think I'm ever going. I don't think I'm ever going to watch it either. Now that I know Will Smith. Oh no, is, man! Uh, put yeah. that put that aside and watch yeah. it. Fresh Prince is a really funny show. I don't think I'd be able to. Every time I see him, I know oh. that he was fucking at that time period and he was throwing up at the same time. Oh. Would, would, okay. for, for our audience, we had a bonus yesterday, which you can go listen to on our Patreon.com slash the official podcast, where we found out that. Will Smith used to vomit when he had the uh, orgasms. Also, just mm -hmm. earlier today, I saw yet another tweet uh, where Will Smith admitted that as part of a quote-unquote prank, he liked to show his grandma Jada sex scenes in movies. What? So what? every single day, he's like dropping more and more hints that he just gets off on other people fucking his wife. Well, <laughs> that's like the least... What? He showed his grandma those scenes? Yeah, to prank Jada. Like, haha, I showed her you having sex. Now, haha, am I right? So funny. <laughs> here's here's where I'm getting concerned. It seems <laughs> it seems that Will Smith is just willingly revealing this stuff. And I, I know we've made jokes about Jada's in the background going, you say this, you tell them this. But it's why is Will Smith telling all this shit? Just willy nilly volunteering all this weird information. It can't be helping really his career. Know. Oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> well, it uh, might in a roundabout way, but I mean, Will Smith. So let me put it this way. Will Smith is not known <gasps> for being like a, a weirdo or a performance artist or a like, you know, bizarre he artist. Is. He's a super charismatic guy. At least he used to be. He was an incredibly mm -hmm. popular and well-liked actor. Why is he now yeah, going down this road of And then Jaden like, Smith, Jaden corrupted him, I'm telling you. <laughs> he's I, some weirdness Jayden. rubbed off on him. I no, guess. he's son. Oh, J oh, okay, I see. Well, Jaden's son, uh, Jaden's friend fucked Jada, right? Wasn't that the thing? His yeah, son's, and yeah. didn't they divorce over it or not? No, they didn't divorce. No, they no, were separated. Then they divorced I urge over you, it. Okay. Go watch, it's called The Red Table or something. The Red Table with Jada and will go watch that episode of her show where she had him on her own show i think that was the moment that broke his soul and finally put his dick in the little cock cage that he lives in now because he <laughs> just sits there with tears in his eyes which became a meme online him just sitting there oh, on the yeah. verge of tears and she's just going mm, yeah you know I just had to explore different cock in my mouth and he's he sits there about to cry going mm -hmm, yeah that's yeah, where they right. high it's five over it, right? Yeah. Bad yeah. marriage for that life. Part. Yeah, they say bad marriage for life and then they high five. I remember that part. That part's going to stick with me until I die. She, you know, she uh, neutered him man. on TV and I think that just stuck in his uh, soul. It's, it's lodged right into his uh, brain. Yes, yeah. It's such a shame that there was no YouTube rewind this year because that would have made it in, surely. Just Will Smith <laughs> crying would have been fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> sure or just another bunch of irrelevant shits that would have get them like two million downvotes <laughs> yeah god i don't know uh, will okay smith, so that was roblox man. news yeah will smith and roblox <laughs> <laughs> what a combination um andrew mm. your boy kim 
he's now um, going after people who just want to watch Squid Game, bro. Oh, so yeah. I remember you brought this up. Yeah, uh, would you like to talk about it? Have you read it? So, so I didn't read the specific article. I kind of skimmed headlines and checked it out. So if you want to maybe recap the specific thing that happened and I can give my... I don't know my my fucking North Korea corner input, whatever <laughs> we want to call it. My my expertise, my obsession. Mm -hmm. The North Corner. The North Corner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, Kaya, I, I think you should give a rundown of the exact scenario because I think you know specifically what happened better than I do. Nope. But I can read, so it says, This all started last week when a high school student secretly bought a, brought a USB flash drive containing the South Korean drama Squid Game and watched it with one of his friends in class. A source in law enforcement, North Hyomyong province is quoted as telling uh, somebody. Mm -hmm. the, friends, the friend told several other students who became interested and they shared the flash drive with them. And those students now got five years of hard labor as punishment. Yes, and one of them was killed, right? Jesus, oh, no, that's that's someone uh, else. No, another. OK, so it's in the same article earlier this year. Another man is believed to be executed for violating this legislation, selling illegal CDs and USB filled with South Korean music and TV shows. So I remember, oh, I remember reading that one. Yeah, yeah, I'll weigh in on my obsessive fucking, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, fascination with this country. This really isn't anything new. There are entire movements in South Korea designed with ballooning CDs and USB drives into the country, literally putting them in tiny balloons and floating them over the border for the citizens to grab. Um, the entire <laughs> point is there's an information war going on. And you, America actually joins in here and there. There are little groups here that work with uh, refugees to be like, yeah, well, we'll send over Western media and books and this and that and USB drives and shit. And the whole point is that every bit of entertainment in North Korea is regulated. You have like three TV channels and all of them are run by the government. Um, the only media that can go out is approved by the government. All music that's made has to be in support of North Korea or about how great the Kim dynasty is or how like beautiful a countryside is, no other music is made. And it all has to be directly approved by Kim Jong-un himself. So there are <laughs> tons of things like this going on where you will have like North Korean families sitting in there like the back of their house with a small, tiny, portable Sony DVD player with a little like 12 inch screen. And they'll put what it on they and they'll from? watch, they, they smuggle it in. You buy, you buy them from China. That's a whole other story. Okay. Um, so they'll they'll literally sit in the corner of like their living room with their whole family huddled around it, watching like South Korean dramas or like Western HBO <laughs> shows. And uh, if if like a guard knocks on the door or a neighbor knocks, they will literally like slam the thing closed, hide it under some floorboards, <laughs> like, flush it down the toilet. <laughs> yeah, anything they have to do to just not get caught. They'll fucking pause and remain silent so they think no one's home. They'll watch it in the dark under a blanket. It's a, it's a whole uh, whole thing that goes on here. This isn't new. The thing where the students fucked up is watching it in school, where they could easily well, yeah, be caught. That seems, watched it in school? That seems weirdly that's pretty fucking stupid. Well, it's, didn't it, it say, that seems weirdly stupid. Yeah, he brought it like, to his shouldn't school. Shouldn't they know? Yeah. He oh, watched it with his best that. friend in class. That's, that's where he fucked up. Like, if this is so per way. pervasive in the culture, like, people are rut routinely executed for consuming other nations' uh, entertainment... Surely these students should have known that this was like a big no-no. Uh, it oh, seems yeah. really weird that they would have slipped up in that way. So the attitude amongst North Korea is like, okay, so a small percentage of them fully believe the government. They're like, yes, Kim Jong-un is this immortal demigod and all of these things happened and Kim Il-sung is the father right. of the revolutionary and all this shit. And then another small percent is brazenly like against it. Like they're they're like they just don't participate or they don't say anything or they don't you know they just kind of like tell people Brazenly? like well that, that I guess reason least too harsh but like you know you'll be at their house and they'll just be like by the way that's bullshit or hey <laughs> you didn't hear it from me but that's not true but the majority of people 
play along while knowing it's bullshit. So in public, they're like, oh, yeah, I love this guy. The regime is the best. It's great. And then they get home and they're like, oh, fuck. Oh, this. Ha ha. Yeah, I love the country. Wink. I love being part of this government. Things yeah, are great. When it's, when it's survival, I'm sure it's extremely exactly. easy for people to strip right. away their values or, or, you know, pretend to be... It, exactly. Uh, to and think also, something that they don't think. A lot of people also well, don't know... To. A lot of people, all, people yeah, exactly. also don't know better there. They think that what they're doing is great, but they're kind of like confused. They're like, oh, wait, this doesn't make sense, but wait a minute. Okay, this is what the government says, but... My, my mom was there during that year, and that didn't happen. Hang on. And it's like they just don't but question it, you know? They just kind of go North with Korean it. The North Korean government, though, has a brilliant scheme. So I would imagine that Squid Game is one of the rather worse uh, examples that you could smuggle into that country, because as far as I remember, one of the characters in that show is a North Korean defector, yes. literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and um, so according to this article still, the North Korean government is acting like that show was real or something. So they say <laughs> a, a, a quote from a state-run North Korean <laughs> website saying Squid Game mirrors and quote, unequal society where the strong exploit the weak and shows the beastly character of the South Korean capitalist society where mankind is annihilated by extreme Lord. competition. That sounds Squid exactly Game. like Squid what they Game would say. didn't paint capitalism in a very pretty way, so it would be pretty easy for the no, North Korean a, government yeah. to spin it. I One guess. of the main critiques of Squid Game is South Korean capitalism. Yeah, um, they should... Uh, fuck, North Korea should really be showing this to everyone. They should I hold know. a giant, like, showing. But uh, to, to, top, to uh, tackle your topic, Jackson, China smuggles in a fuckload of consumer goods into North Korea, and that's because since they have such a good relationship with China, they're just cool with it. Uh, so yeah, but, they, no, but why? Why would they smuggle it in from... Ch they've got no money. How, what's in it for China? No, they, they do have money. Some people do have money, and the whole point is that... To give an example, it's not where it is everywhere, but let's say you live in a border town in North Korea, a town where it's like, oh, cross this river and you're in China. You will have North Korean army or guards guarding the river, the border, and people will go up to the army and they'll be like, hey, here's 50 bucks or whatever it is in their uh, currency. Let me go to China for the day. And they're like, OK. Or they'll be like, hey, you just went to the China side. Did you bring anything back I could buy? And they'll be like, yeah, here's a here's a fucking Sony Walkman for like 100 bucks. So what a it's. Deal. Yeah, or whatever it is, you know. <laughs> um, How much so, is that in so, North Korean fun bucks? Who, God, billions, trillions, who knows? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, so the whole point is that every everyone looks the other way. Now, if the if the main government found out, they'd be fucked. Like if an officer shows up and is patrolling, you're fucked. But like the lower level guards and the people guarding China's border, from what I from what I remember hearing, China's border is empty. They don't give a shit. They really just do not care. It's the Koreans that guard the border. So it's it's to just, you know, like in. like a like a look the other way. Uh, oh, yeah, I can get you that. Ha ha. Oh, yeah, you got a hundred bucks. I'll let you in China for the day. You know, whatever. Oh, I didn't see you cross. You weren't here. You know what I mean? So that's how they do it. So they smuggle in. So basically how China smuggles from they Japan. they speak the same language? Uh, they speak Korean on the border. And, and remember, they they're Korean. Okay. They're Korean guards, and China has Korean-speaking citizens, both from North and okay. South Korea. Okay, um, yeah. Also, I looked it up. Um, their monthly average income in North Korean won is 194,000 a month, which translates oh roughly to 215 bucks U.S. dollars. Okay, never mind. Ooh, yeah, rough. Well, but that's average. There are people who live more privileged in Korea who live in cities. People who do have regular jobs. It's rare, but it happens. You know, there are people with incomes. Yes. According yeah. to this, the highest average is 867000 which is roughly $960. Yeah. So that, that'll give you spending cash. Like a king, I bet. Yeah, well, also keep in mind, living in <laughs> Korea is very house cheap. made out of apples. Keep, keep in mind, living in Korea is also extremely cheap. I mean, like... Rent for us is going to be a few, what, thousand yeah. in the middle thousands, where rent for them would be like, I don't know, 50 bucks a month, you know? Yeah, cost of, cost of li mm -hmm. living adjusts in those exactly. low wage yeah. situations, but it's still, 
It's still not a comfortable scenario yeah. for people. I mean, you got to remember, think of the history of China. Are they really that scrupulous with counterfeited and smuggled goods? No, <laughs> they're known for it. So China mm -hmm. smuggles in shit from Japan, like Sony products and fucking electronics, or from South Korea, Asus, whatever, or they have their own brands. And then those get smuggled into North Korea through the, uh, the border being lax at certain points or bribery or soldiers or business. There are businessmen in North Korea who are given passes to go to China. And it's like, yeah, you're working our economy. You're doing business. And it's literally like a handshake. It's like, but you'll come back, right? And they're like, ah, yeah, of course. I'd never betray North Korea. And of course, sometimes they just never come back. <laughs> but, so, but you know, a lot of them do have jobs where they go back and forth between China and North Korea doing business and Imagine trade. how hurt that guard must be when he realizes <laughs> that man's not coming back. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Does, so I assume North Korea does not have the resources to actually... Uh, hunt dissidents worldwide like say, they do the and they can. don't it's a it's an agreement thing they personally don't much but other countries do so for example china um is to return refugees on site no matter where you go okay, in china yeah, yeah, for the yeah, most I mean, part you bring i don't mean back. extradition i mean i'm not talking about like legal process of extradition i mean this guy runs away he settles in italy does North Korea have the resources to actually just oh, drug and kidnap him? No, like no not really. They're because Italy's not going to allow them to do that either. Um, they would have to do it covertly. I, ass I and assume. Yeah, I assume Kai is talking I covertly. I am talking like covertly. They yeah. Airdrop them in. Oh, oh. Well, that's um, kind of what they did with that director who made the uh, yeah. Godzilla spinoff. Yeah. They, they kidnapped that was, him. That was yeah. That was the nineties, so, right? Yeah. Or eighties? That was, was in like seventies. Like, yeah, yeah, it was like the eighties, seventies. Yeah. But and then uh, he made, uh, uh, the Godzilla movie. Hypothetically, what would most likely happen is they're just going to follow their own protocol and they're not going to expend the time and resources getting you back. They're going to just punish your family who stayed. That's actually, that's <laughs> actually why. That. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. They're, so no, that's, if, you that's leave, the if you leave North Korea, they're not going to go, oh, we're going to find you and get you. They're going to go, hey, if you don't come back, we're throwing your family in a labor camp. I, I forgot about that. That's it's just much probably, easier. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why North Korea was developing long-range uh, missile ballistics, is so that they could they could attack dissidents from outside. Yeah, like, this missile's not for you. It's Italy. for our it's for our escapees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we weren't targeting you, Italy. We were taking out <laughs> Hong Jung or whatever yeah. his name was. But yeah, no, they they're most likely not going to go out and kidnap you back. They're just going to torture your family or whatever for information. Fun. That's on them for staying. <laughs> so oh, yeah. we 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 talked about how north korea uh well no sorry other nations send over packages to north korea have yes. there has there ever been a scenario or situation where north korea has sent anything back do they send care packages P oh yeah yeah you smuggle them in so there are also handlers who you can pay whose entire job is to smuggle you and things in and out of North Korea. So you'll literally meet them in whatever city in North Korea you live, and they're like, okay, tomorrow we're going to this town. My buddy will have a bus. He'll drive you to this mountain. Then the next day, you and I are going to hike like two days over this mountain range, which will get us in this city where we're going to meet my buddy. That's their whole job. That is literally their entire job. So... Yeah, people go back and forth in the country Stare. illegally. They smuggle themselves and then their family out illegally. Like, it's a whole industry. Yeah, and sometimes they participate in, like, death games, squid games, <laughs> to get their family out. Yeah, they gotta get all the marbles <laughs> to get out of China. Yeah. Is there any contraband, like, any show or video game you guys would risk your life to get your hands on? A movement into watch. The country? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good. Nice one. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't I? I mean, with the holidays coming up, Movement, the original watch brand to break the bank, started by two college dropouts who didn't want to overpay for watches, has you covered. They're bringing the sleekest, most quality gifts of the season with hundreds of watches, blue light glasses, sunnies, fine jewelry, and more. Stuff your stockings, impress your family, wow your partners, and make yourself say, oh wow, look, what a nice watch. I have given gifts to friends in the form of movement watches. I've, I've, I at one point had like eight movement watches because they're great and they come in tons of different styles. So I've started giving them away to friends and all of them impressed. All of them saying, oh wow. 
That's some nice stuff. But if you out there listening are interested, yeah, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever other holiday you've made up for your friend group, doesn't matter. Now it's time to give people things and show that you love them. Do it with a movement watch. Movement has sold almost 2 million watches in over 160 countries. So don't be shy if you're not American. Check to see if they ship to you. Be the big winner this holiday season with a gift from Movement. Go to MVMT.com slash official. That's MVMT.com slash official. Join the Movement. Check out their watches and other accessories. Mm-hmm. Thank They're you, getting movement. sold like yeah. hot pancakes in North Korea, I hear. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, no comment. I don't want my family <laughs> endangered. <laughs> uh, what was what were, what were, what was the question before? Uh, that smooth movement integration. Mm. What would you risk your life for for contraband? Like what media? Mm. My life, absolutely nothing. There's not a single thing that I would put above my life. Not even Star Wars. Of, what about? Yeah, no, careful, Jackson. Yeah. That's like I don't know, twenty hours of movie right there. If you pick all of Star you know, Wars. You know, well, there's a lot more than just 20 hours of movie. Wow, Andrew. even better. Um, but okay, okay, Jackson, it's a one one of a kind, only one print Lego Star Wars set signed by George Lucas. Ooh. George, what the fuck, George? Why would you sign it? Devalues the Lego, you son of a bitch. No, I um, no, no, I'm not doing it. I <laughs> think about all of the Lego I could play with if my life is, you know, if I'm kept alive. I'm not risking it for all one right. set. All right, I have You'd a have question. You'd have to do better than that, Kyle. Do I have to do it right now? Are you going to wait till you're like 99? Yeah, if I was like 80 years old, then oh, I'd risk why? my life for like anything. It's not like they're going to cleanly kill you, though. They're going to take you to like a hard labor camp. Well, I'm, I'm old. Yeah. I don't feel yeah. anything ripped anymore. before you die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but what yeah. I, I mean, okay, you might be 90, but your children are still gonna also be sent there. Uh, that's fine. That I'll be, the uh, they'll keep me company. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be killed and raped, but yeah. Yeah, company, that's what, no. it's not me. Who cares? <laughs> You'll get cozy in the same mass grave. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh, I no. don't. I don't think there's anything I'd risk my life for in terms of contraband. Why would you? Why? Yeah. Even if it was like incredible, even if it was something that we couldn't even comprehend, this entertainment product was like revolutionary. Oh, uh, then and again, Jackson, the world. have you seen Breaking Bad? I mean, I don't know. It's pretty again, good. I haven't. Mm -hmm. I mean, I stopped after the first season. <laughs> I didn't like it that much. Oh so. my lord! Jackson won't even watch good stuff when it doesn't cost him his life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to do a lot better than that. <laughs> you really didn't like the first season? No, I didn't. I no, I didn't not like it. I just, well, yeah, I didn't like it. <laughs> Why? It's incredible. That's so fucked up. What Holy the fuck? shit! <laughs> it just didn't catch me. Uh, we've spoken about this in the past. It, it didn't. It didn't hook me in uh, well, you the way that I was hoping. Wow. You originally said you only watched like one episode, not a whole season. No, it was like it was like three episodes, I think. You just said you watched season one. But yeah, yeah, that's part of season one. I didn't watch the. All right, I didn't watch the complete season one. I watched three oh episodes god. of Holy season one. Jesus! Oh my god! What? I've, this is this is like the Jackson. Um, it's only Justice a seven. League thing it's again. only a seven episode season. You can easily that's finish seven hours. That. So it's seven you hours. Two Justice League garbage. You watch Jurassic World on repeats like ten times in the movie theater. You have yeah. no place to complain about length. I, I bet, Jackson, if you took every single time you watched Jurassic World, you could watch the entirety of Breaking Bad in that you setting. You were 14 when Jurassic I don't World... Know, when, when did it come out? It came out in 26, or, uh, 2015. I swear it came out bef like earlier than that, but maybe no. you're right. It was either 2015 or 2016. Alright. Well, no, wait, no, it, that's not true, surely. Uh, it you is also absolutely watch true. Shows you, you also watch shows you've already seen on repeats, like uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia and Futurama, instead of trying something new. It came out oh in God, 2015. Right. Wow. I was not 14. <laughs> uh, why did I watch that so many times? Uh, you know, God damn it! I watched it again, <laughs> like last week. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I wanted to see if it held up. It didn't. It sucked. It's really bad. 
It's a really bad movie. Not as bad as Fallen Kingdom, but still extremely bad. So I would not Fallen risk my life Kingdom. for that. Yeah, it was the sequel. Mm. Just go watch it, Jackson. He won't. No, I'm not gonna, because I, I gave it three episodes to hook me and convince me to keep watching it, and it didn't. I just didn't... I, I didn't dislike it or anything. I just didn't feel the... I don't know. The desire to continue. All right. Uh, what other topics do we have then? That was the North Korea check. <laughs> yeah, it's our uh, rec- mandatory North Korea hour. Uh, Damn, not much happened this week. No. Oh, really. no. Brandon Fraser is joining Batgirl. He is. That's Fuck, huge. Yeah, let's go. The show's good now. Yeah, now the show's going to be watch saved. It, Charlie? Oh, absolutely. Are you going to catch up? I'll absolutely watch it for Brendan Fraser, yeah. He's great. No, what was the movie? Are you going to watch What was the Bollywood the movie he was in, Charlie? Up. Probably not. Uh, he was in... Oh, what was the name of that one? Where he plays the weird club guy? <laughs> yeah, he's great in that. Yeah. Oh, the name. I don't remember. We watched it together. It we was... did. Oh sense. no! Wait, I'm stupid. This is um, uh, yeah. They're making a movie called Batgirl. He's not tr- joining the TV show. Oh, that's even, even better. better then. I think. Am I am I stupid? Am I getting this wrong? There's so many of these. Yeah, it says the DC film. It's gonna debut on HBO Max. Oh, okay. Well, wait. Then maybe it won't suck. It also oh, has J.K. Simmons. He's Firefly. That's cool. I like that guy. Firefly is a Batman villain whose just entire modus operandi is I'm going to burn everything. And then everyone's like, why? And he's like, because it's not on fire yet. It's great. Uh, that he's sounds a like a ro- Brendan Fraser's going to kill that one. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Charlie, do you have any? Cool. Uh, Charlie, you give us yeah, a topic. <laughs> We could do viewer questions. We, we haven't could. done that in a long while. Uh, I feel like I had a topic, but do viewer questions. Well, no, 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 wait. I just thought of a topic that we haven't touched on, and it seems pretty fucking massive. The Ghislaine Maxwell trial started, right? Oh, how's that going? Oh, yeah. It's not going w- well at all in the sense that it's completely behind closed doors. They said that nothing can like get out of the trial, so they're burying it, which is just the most suspicious situation. Why, why wouldn't you want that thing to be open to the public? Yeah. Well, they claim it's because it's a federal case, and in, apparently in America, federal cases are usually not televised or streamed or open to the public. But they should but be. I don't know. They sh- there's not, there's not a single situation yeah. where I would think that a, like a trial should be kept private. See, I disagree on televising because people act differently when televised and also it can sway viewer opinion not based on facts. Television oh, plays a huge disagree. role. I, I spent the last... Not, not months. Actually, it was this month. I watched that fucking Rittenhouse trial, bro. I watched that like every almost every minute and it was mind-blowing how the difference between what you actually see in the courts happening... You yourself seeing all the evidence and what the media fucking tells you about it, it's incredible. So I I will not believe a single word about this Ghislaine shit being told to me yeah, by any media outlet. I, I think that's more it's of insane. a problem with media reporting, though, and how they cover the trial. Because there, yeah. there is an effect but by that, it being That's exactly recorded. my point. We can't... We cannot rely on these fuckers to tell us what happened. I want to see for myself. Televise this. I, I no, also the Squid Games actually. I, Fucker. I also think that the like the public's faith in you know the court system in general is at like a massive all time low. Like no one has any faith in the systems that are meant to uphold mm. the country and to put it behind closed doors and not let people see it. That just like impacts that even more substantially. I think. I think it's. Imagine she's found not guilty. <laughs> oh boy! Imagine if oh. she if she in uh, inverted commas commits suicide on stand or something, and they're like, "Well, she 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 uh, she died during the t- trial." Uh, oh, oh well, moving on. Yeah, no, I don't I don't like that at all. Well, especially especially after the whole Jeffrey Epstein, you know, he's suicide in prison. I don't like that at all. 
But she does face yeah, up to 80 either. years in prison if convicted. So we'll see. Only 80? What yeah, the fuck? Yeah, that's a pretty light sentence. Mm-hmm. Jeez, well, Lord. she is 59, so that is a life sentence, I guess, in a way. Yeah, but still slap her with a fat one, like 200. Yeah. Make an example. Sentence her to like 2 billion years in jail. We're going to keep her alive for the yeah. entire sentence. We're putting her brain Give in a her jar. A <laughs> and then putting that jar Give in North jail. Korean citizenship. And making that jar Hard watch labor. movies of her going to jail. <laughs> yeah. It is weird though because you're really burpy today, Charlie. Jeez, my stomach is really fucked up from what? Oh. I don't know, but my tummy is all fucked up. Like sore? Damn. You Thanksgiving? Okay? What do you mean sore? No, like my my tummy just doesn't feel good. <laughs> what? That's what I just said. Sore, like sick. You know? Did you go real hard on Who? Thanksgiving or something? <laughs> uh, I, I went kind of hard. Who the fuck says sore for a tummy ache? <laughs> is it sore? Do you feel? What, why is that ridiculous? Do you feel sore? No, sore refers to like a muscle ache, mostly, Jackson. Or like if you bump your arm or something. It's not like my stomach feels gross. But, uh, no. Uh, I guess. No, but. No, it, keep going. Like, this is a good topic. Keep going. Sore can refer to any kind of pain. Like if you have a headache. But it's not in it pain. Can be sore. It's just, it's a, if you have a headache, pain, it can be sore. sore. My my tummy is just upset. <laughs> it's not like painful. It's just like ooh yucky. It feels gross. Well, that's what. How is that not, it's not painful? <laughs> what do you mean? How is it not painful? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Like when you get a hangover, Jackson, you're like gripping at your fucking stomach, like oh my god, <laughs> it's so sore. Yes, yes, I would describe what? a hangover as feeling sore. <laughs> I absolutely no, would. No <laughs> rational human being on the planet what? would. It. <laughs> Wait, so you this feel the best good? Topic of the you feel good when you're hungover? No, you feel sore. No, like feel you feel bad, but not like in pain. Well, I guess depending on the hangover, but like when you're like feeling sore ill, doesn't it's mean not like to mean pain. Yeah, it doesn't. That's exactly what sore means. Sore can also just mean worn out, or I don't know. Well, it's not, not worn in a good out. way. Causing yeah, emotional pain or distress. It doesn't have to be pain. It can also be distress. Uh, let's see. Sore, As adjective, painful to the touch, tender, feeling exactly. physical pain, hurting, causing causing misery, sorrow, or distress. There you go. Grievous, mm -hmm. causing, em causing embarrassment or irritation. Irritation? Full of distress. <laughs> I, I would say your stomach is currently irritated. Are Perhaps, Charlie, would you agree or disagree with that? It may be a bit irritated, Well, then I you're suppose. sore, you son of a bitch. Stop arguing. I'm not sore. It's a it's a dumb word to use. <laughs> it's not, you have, you will hold me to a different standard than anyone else in the world. It's weird. What you? It's not true. It is. If Andrew if Andrew said Charlie is your stomach sore, I'd be like Andrew, you weirdo. <laughs> no, you'd be like no, it is sore. You're correct. Andrew. That is something I would say as a weirdo. I don't know, but like after your workout, you feel sore the next day, but it's not exactly. pain. Exactly. It's not like a bad pain. Exactly. I but would it, use it uh, interchangeably with the word pain. Sore, sore to me is just such a, like it's a general word. It's it, it's used to describe a whole, you know, wide array of scenarios in which you're distressed, which is what that definition touches on. <laughs> so you were wrong, not me. Merriam-Webster's got my back. All right, boys, break it up. It's time to talk about <laughs> me undies. It's officially a winter right. wonderland outside your window. What do you want to do when it's chillier than a snowman's cheeks? You want to bundle up with layers and layers of comfy goodness. And well, that's what MeUndies is there for. Did you know that MeUndies <laughs> has onesies and matching PJ sets with the fam? I did. <gasps> and that's why I got one. Got a nice comfy pair of PJs. I think PJs are great. I feel like a kid again. I'm like limber and i believe in the world and i don't know what politics are it's great you can get your festive on with the new me undies holiday collection so you remember those pjs i mentioned before they've also got undies they've also got loungewear they've also got sleepwear shocking i know someone just spat coffee all over their monitor hearing that me undies has undies you can get the family photo you've always dreamed for with matching pj sets as well but they've also got plush robes and plush slippers. They've got all these comfort lounge wares from top 
to bottom. Available in sizes extra small to 4XL, MeUndies has something for everyone on your list. Comes in men's and women's styles. Whatever kind of underwear mm -hmm. you want, wherever you want your underwear to sit within your butt crack, they've got you covered. Totally your choice. MeUndies is a great offer for my listeners. Any first-time purchasers get 15% off and free shipping right to your door. Your days of fighting for your life in the mall parking lot are over. To get 15% off your first order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash official. That's MeUndies, ugh, MeUndies.com slash official. My tummy acted up there. MeUndies.com slash official for 15% off your first order. All the official boys wear MeUndies. They're very comfy. Mm-hmm. They should make, like, onesies for your pets. Oh, that'd be it cute. That'd be cute. That yeah. would be cute. I have so many what, like little cat outfits for my girls because, well... Your uh, bald cat has to wear clothes, yeah, doesn't yeah. he? It's, uh, yeah, especially during winter. Otherwise, she'd freeze wow. to death. They're so cute. Also See? adorable. You turned around on that. You thought they were ugly to begin with and now what? you love them. Well, they're ugly, but they're like cute ugly. I don't know yeah. how to describe it. It's like an adorable ball sack. I never thought both. they were ugly. I, I just think they're so cute. So uh, is is it just like they're bred to just not have hair? It just doesn't grow on them at all. Um, depending on like the the because there's different breeds of sphinxes as well. I'm pretty sure like there's there's certain, yeah. certain types that do still have a bit of like peach fuzz around them. Um, m mine is yeah, mine's got a little bit of hair uh, like around the tail and the face, only a short layer, mm. and it's pretty cute. Um, Aww. but yeah, m mostly Aww. mostly bald. I don't know if they're bred for it, like if they were a human created yeah. species or breed, I mean. This seems like something that in the wild would just not survive. I would yeah, have, it wouldn't make it. I would have assumed maybe in like some uh like Egypt or something, maybe. That's what I would have assumed, because it would have been helpful okay. for the like, Wikipedia the sand. time. The Sphinx cat is a breed of cat known for its lack of fur. Hairlessness in cats is a naturally occurring genetic mutation, and the Sphinx was developed through selective breeding of these animals. So I guess they took like cats that were already kind of hairless. Because they can they be short hair cats. Until they they can be super hairless. They can be very short hair cats, like yeah. uh, like Devon yeah, Rexes, I think. I, I was just about to say, I just found out there's a breed called Devon Aww. Rex cats, mm -hmm. which are like if a cat had a permanent buzz cut. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they look cool. No, they're, they're, they're so, uh, if anyone out there dislikes cats, first of all, you're insane. Cats are the best pets. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. But also, all, yeah, give sphinxes a chance because they are the most, like everything you think about a cat, like these standoffish creatures, like these little pieces of shit that don't pay you any attention, it is the opposite for a sphinx. They will, they're the most curious little things. They're funny to watch. They're very affectionate and cuddly. And, and uh, you know they're very personable. They're, they're great cats. I love them. Aren't they also like hypoallergenic? If you have a cat they allergy, are. it's not yeah. as bad with yeah. them. Yeah, that's another good thing. About another them. plus. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, the downside to them though is you have to give them weekly baths because they have very oily skin, so they attract a lot of dirt. Um, so, yeah, you have to. Yeah, bath are they them. able to properly groom themselves without hair? Because normally they just kind of like lick and yeah. chew with their hair, right? Um, it, it, yeah, no, it doesn't, they don't do a very good job at cleaning themselves. That's why you have to, that's why you <laughs> have to do idiots. it. And by do it, I mean, bath them, not, lick, not lick them. <laughs> um, yeah, no, nah, but they're, they're great. Charlie, you, Charlie, you said you were going to have a topic. I forgot after we talked about <laughs> sore stomachs, to be honest. Better topic, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Probably. All right, well, we can do... Do you have your questions, yeah, we can, Jackson? We can, yeah, let's take questions. questions. All righty. All right, so Noah Bailey asks, the best way to spend $1 million? And he also made an assumption by saying... We already talked about this. Did we? Yeah, we already did this, remember? Okay. We, we had a whole discussion saying the best ways to invest it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to assume. Yeah, I'm going to assume. Sounds like us. Yeah. All right. So Boonbeck asks if you could send a text or email or any message that is over 36 letters to anyone in the past, what would you say? 
What? That is a very specific number yeah. of letters. I, what was... if I just want to say, hey, what's up to Albert Einstein, and that's it? Wait, is that over or under? No, that's over 36 letters. He used the, <laughs> he used the greater than sign. In, in other words, if you wanted to say absolutely anything to someone <laughs> yeah. in the past, right, so, what would right, you so say? I'm going to assume <laughs> that he, he like typoed and he meant less than 36 letters, because that would make more sense. Mm. That adds a restriction <clears throat> onto it. Mm. So less than 36. Did he say text message? Like... Because I don't think I can, like, text message Hitler. I don't think they had smartphones. Yeah, it says send a text or email. Any message in any or form. any message, yeah. Hmm. Mm, who would you want to talk question. to? Who who could you talk to and uh, and also have, like, the greatest effect on the world? Myself. I'd send myself a message, like, with winning lottery numbers or something. Yeah, and that's, like, that's, that's too obvious. That's no. Yeah, but no, I mean, let's make a rule. It's got to be another person not related yes. to you. Yeah, but thir- okay. a 36. Yeah, I'd send it to my yourself. friend to convince me to invest in Bitcoin. <laughs> Interesting <laughs> choice. In, like, 2013. Yeah. Because that would no, mean no that one they you know. wouldn't know what no you're talking you're, about. You know that you're gonna know. Yeah, no one, As no one with any stranger. relation to you. It's not like you can really do mm. much in thirty-six letters, though. Like, yeah, the, like there's really nothing I could do to like help. Again, like anything with Kaya's mm. uh, Hitler thing that he just said. Like, what are you going to send to him? Uh, hey, Hitler, don't no, attack Jews. I, That's not going to convince him. I, you could, you could very easily don't be help stubborn, the world. Leave the bunker. You could very easily help the world. For example, send Einstein the theory of relativity well he was before already he would think have discovered that. it. He was already going to no, think about if, it. No, no, no. Then he's no, just no, going to no, be a slacker. He's not going to be helpful anymore. <laughs> yeah, you make him Faster, a lazy though. piece of shit and yeah. ruin yeah. the world. You just hand <laughs> he just keeps <laughs> waiting. <laughs> He keeps waiting for another message with more science on it. <laughs> well, I don't know. You, yeah. All right. Fuck it. Never mind. Because we've oh, anything mm. we. <laughs> it's confusing. Um, yeah. The further back you go, the more the past you'll change. The more you could fuck up. The more likely you're never to be born. Yeah. There's. There's. It's like the butterfly <laughs> effect. But maybe mm. in the process of sending the thing back, that's how we end up in uh, like where we currently are. We set the motion. Well, yeah. To where we, we need are. to. We need to know the rules of mm. our time travel loop. Are we in one universe or multi universe? That changes everything. <laughs> What, uh, uh, I'm going to use my 36 letters to send the message to Boone back, the person who asked this question, and ask for further clarification on the question. <laughs> I'm going to send it to on them the and rules. ask them not to send this question. <laughs> yeah. I think I just tell Hitler, kill yourself, lol, <laughs> and then I can <laughs> take credit for it. That's pretty good. But maybe, maybe but again, maybe it'll have the opposite effect and that's what causes him not to kill himself in this new timeline because he's just super angry <laughs> at you and he doesn't want to give you the credit. Mm. Oh no. I would probably pick a famous beloved person who with like oh, millions and I've millions of fans and I would... tell them to never forget me. Like put my <laughs> fucking name and address and all that shit. So that one day he goes, it was all because of him. It was all because of Andrew. I would, I would send it to JFK and I'd just simply say, get down, Mr. President. Yeah, just duck. <laughs> but, but then the issue is, when he was reading the letter, that's when he was shot. <laughs> 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 oh, no, we might have to go Here. through the footage right now to see if that's what happened. Here, Here, Here Jacqueline, let me sit up a bit. Hand me that letter I was meant to read. <laughs> and that's what caused him to get shot. <laughs> 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 oh man, that's fucked. And I'll send the shooter a letter, Jackson, saying aim lower. <laughs> yeah, Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> <We're competing. laughs> oh man. <laughs> Charlie, did you come question, up with good one? question. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't even bother. I, I wouldn't oh, be able to help on. anything. Why are you so boring? <laughs> I sent it to JFK. Come up with something. Fine, I'll send it to like I don't know how far back can I go? Like infinite time backwards? <laughs> yes, yeah. infinite. Mm-hmm. I'd probably send it back to like the uh, I think it was the Romans. They had they actually <laughs> had like an ancient computer. I learned about what uh, they yeah they had like an ancient computer that could tell like um fuck what was it? There's something to do with astronomy. 
Uh, mm-hmm. So they had like some crazy technology back then before they were wiped out. So I just tell them to like, I don't know, not get wiped out because we'd be really far along. Yeah, Rome doesn't exist anymore. Well, no, like the, the well, ancient by, Romans, like they're. Uh, I know, like, I'm kidding. Yeah. I would send well, a that drawing. Logic, then, I, I would. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. Ah, fuck you. Not I you. would send no. <laughs> I would send an ASCII art picture of boobs to a caveman. <laughs> Just see what he does with Awaken that. Awaken his sexuality, and that's what causes the human yeah. <laughs> human lineage to continue. That oh, caveman was, was gonna be an incel otherwise. It would that would be me inventing <laughs> pornography. Yeah. Someone in chat had it. it. It was the Greeks. They had an ancient computer they used to use back then, like an actual like computer they created with clockwork gears and shit. It's fucking incredible. Cool. How, who was the person that That's invented cool. that? No idea. Jesus Christ! You had one chance at living. Alan you, you created the very first computer. And you didn't get <laughs> to put your name down on it somewhere. Well, they all got they all got fucking <laughs> wiped out, so it wasn't able to like really flourish. Yeah, by the Romans. But think about it. You were literally the first person to invent. The, a, a computer and now you're forgotten to time that sucks well you got to remember a lot of these things aren't a big deal when they happen like many inventions are just someone wanting to improve their life maybe he just only expected to use it for himself you know no apparently it was kind of like a big thing like even All right, back then that then. guy's a fucking moron yeah i should have I don't know. Tried. I watched, should like, a short this. I watched a short documentary on it it's pretty fucking cool god that sucks for him he could have been yeah, sucks for all of us. Imagine well, if they were. Imagine if they didn't get colonized, though. Like how far along our technology could be. They had a fucking computer back then. It's probably handed to them by Zeus. Yeah. And then Zeus saw what happened to the Greeks, and then gave up on humanity. After True. that, now we don't have. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Hand throwing they, lightning bolts. They started to like come up with like furry porn even back then. He's like, oh my god! <laughs> oh no, Zeus yeah, was well, part of furry Olympus. porn back then. Oh yeah, he totally was. was he? he turned into a horse. Yeah, to he, he, he his part That's of right. his entire mythos is he would turn into animals and have sex with women. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. Turn into like a Beautiful. goose and like turn into like a bull. I think that's the how the myth of the Minotaur was born. It he was. turned into a bull and fucked some lady. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I think I'm with Charlie. I would like find some ancient scientist and give him something that he would have come up with anyway, but sooner. What? Wait a minute. Just that's that's exactly impressive. what I said. That's exactly what I said with giving Einstein the theory of relativity, yeah, or the relativity early, and you guys were like, no, that's stupid. I still think it's stupid. That's stupid. I think it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> when you say it. I like no, I think, it. I think okay, it could fair. be a good idea, Andrew, if you sent the theory of relativity back to the cavemen instead of titties. Maybe that would be a good oh, yeah. idea. You know, with their yeah. inability to read and write, that'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> They'd eat the piece of paper I sent back. He was going to uh, eat okay, it with I would too. send them a photo. I would send them a photo of two sticks and then them rubbing together and then fire <laughs> to teach them to cook their fucking meat sooner. No, send them the alphabet. And then. That's not going to mean anything to them, though. <laughs> Dude, what the, how the fuck is that going to help them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can at least see it. And then suddenly, by looking like at the alphabet, species, the that caveman was able to read and write. <laughs> Send your own oh, words to the chimpanzees. <clears throat> I don't know. Well, well, maybe you can probably... just send them a photo of a wheel. There's a lot that you could research and do interestingly. <laughs> Imagine sending like a modern gaming PC back to Bill Gates <laughs> when he started Microsoft. That'd be fun. Ooh, no, really can we send oh my back? god, send send my gaming PC back to that guy, that Greek guy who made his computer, like really show off. Show him what he's he doing with proper plug water it in cooling. It's so humiliating. He couldn't plug it in. It would be a useless look at brick. It. He could look at it. Oh, it's not cool. helpful. Wow. wow. It would be, why why are you like trying to demoralize him? Imagine <laughs> if you had something that you're super proud of, your life's work, Jackson, and then some alien species from the future just dunks on you. Like, hey, check mine out. <laughs> alien species we're the same species as the Greeks we didn't suddenly change you would, whatever, you how get would the he points. know that it would be rude oh, yeah, we don't know he that either know did that. you ever see uh, an well, ancient I, Greek they could have yeah. been I, disgusting I, tentacle monsters I'd attach, I'd attach a letter to my computer when I send it back saying I am also human or something simple just like send that. a picture of, you, <laughs> of yourself <laughs> yeah, just, of your suspicious. <laughs> just send him a dick pic <laughs> <laughs> so Jackson if you a portal opens up straight from hell, it looks like, and somebody gives you a device that you don't know what it does. Could be a fucking bomb that <laughs> when you plug it in, it blows you up. And it had just a little letter saying, hey, I'm a friend, don't worry about it. I'm human too, lol. 
uh, you smash the shit out of that. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, could be worth it. Could be their version of a computer that's like at least 1.5 times more powerful than mine. Maybe yeah. that'd be able to run games as, at 4K60. Look, as advanced as we think the Greeks were, we got to remember they were also stupid fucking savages. They wouldn't even blow each other because they considered it disrespectful. Like, what the fuck? But didn't they have like Idiots. lots of gay sex? To who? No, they, so they would have gay sex with each other, but they would not perform oral on each other because they thought a man's mouth was his most precious tool for speaking. <laughs> so to put a penis in it was to defile it. So they would literally could, put like dicks in each point. other's asses, but not in each other's mouths. My mouth is for talking, and my ass is for fucking, fucking idiots. <laughs> the mouth hurts way less than the ass. I mean, yeah. So then they're putting their dicks on the same tier as like the hole where shit comes out of those. So yeah. they, did they not respect their dicks at all? I guess not. Oh no, they really respected anuses. Because <laughs> they, they really respected it, mouths. An anus to, a, to an ancient Greek person is this tool of creation. It creates like poop from nothing, I guess, in their perspective. Yeah, they also <laughs> wouldn't eat women girdle. out because they thought it... They also wouldn't eat women out because they thought it was demeaning. To what who? the fuck? Well, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty sweet. <laughs> kind of nice. No, probably demeaning to them, right? Not to the woman. So the idea was that a man's mouth was for speaking because it was like, you know, speaking was the highest form of civilization. It was it showed you were smart and could it intellectual was. and <laughs> could speak and all this. They, they sound so, insufferable. Yeah. Yeah. So literally they wouldn't eat pussy and they wouldn't suck dick because they thought that was demeaning. It was, oh, you're using your mouth as like a fucking servant. Rather than, you know, speaking. <laughs> well, then how did... I Andrew. mean, that's not okay, but jamming dicks in your ass is yeah, totally that's what I was gonna ask. Andrew, how did we go from all the anal to no anal, and now anal's making a resurgence again? I don't yeah, know, what man. happened? Ask the Where Greeks. did we go wrong? Yeah, what the Greeks, but... Would they eat yeah. ass? What stopped anal? That should be your note. That should be your note. What happened to oral? Send it to, like, Sof uh, Socrates. I'm he'll sure. get in there. I'm sure he'll... Yeah, he'll find that useful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in perfect modern English. <laughs> to a man who spoke ancient him, Greek. <laughs> just tell him your mouth isn't that precious. Shut up and suck the dick. <laughs> yeah, it's just a note that says suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> just send hate mail. <laughs> with, a, with a fucking dick pic. Suck my dick. Just send to all the famous Socrates. people in the world. And he gives up on whatever he was Let doing. Let's just print out a YouTube comment section and send it back. <laughs> He's like, he thinks that the yeah, letter Jackson, came from Pythagoras, and so it starts Jackson, a war in Greece. What? You should still message JFK, but instead of duck, you put suck my dick. <laughs> and just... <laughs> and, <he gets shot. laughs> and then his head's blown off. <laughs> it's like a, isn't it strange? When was JFK? That was like 70 years ago? Six, 60 it was, something. Yeah, it, was yeah. like, it was like 60, 70 years ago almost now. And it was mm -hmm. just such a national tragedy then, but now it's fun. I mean, it's not, it, it's, there's room as for fun. As time, as time goes on, things become funny. I, uh, example I always use is the Titanic. Thousands and thousands of people died on the Titanic. Horrible tragedy. And yet, for our entire lives, it has been nothing but a joke. Like, oh, yeah. Wait, we didn't even think about that. that. What about notes? We could send it back to 2001 and say, watch out for 9-11 or watch out for the iceberg. Yeah. No. Or t tell the Titanic captain to like steer hard left. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> well, I, we I don't think you'd be tragedies. wasting your breath on 9-11, Jackson. They already knew about it. And then they admitted that they knew about it and didn't do anything. I said it back yeah. in yeah. the Titanic, it could work. But do you really want to waste your one message to the past on the fucking Titanic? I mean, there's a lot of yeah, lives uh, lost. Well, look, hey, Kaya, True, if, I, a lot of people. if I save that ship, I save thousands of people, I make the captain a hero, etc. More importantly, I prevent that fucking movie from being made. True. But then, we lose, but then we lose Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, I was going to say, that movie oh, made Leo. Oh, shit. Shit, you're right. Oh, God. The timeline's too convoluted. Fuck. If we wanted to save mm. the most amount of people... What event would we go back to to change? It would have to be Genghis Khan, right? It, uh, or the Black Plague, I guess. Oh, Both but, are good choices. So well, we, how would you how stop would the stop Black it? Plague the with a message, though? <laughs> <laughs> you really would. Like, maybe, maybe if you studied ancient fucking Mongolian, you can message Genghis Khan with, like, the perfect sentence to, like, rewrite his brain to make him stop. No, but for the Black Plague... Again. 
Yeah, but for the Black Plague, what are you going to ask him politely <laughs> to not infect people? I mean, I'll just say kill the rats f immediately. Yeah, but wasn't did, that what, not they know? where it came from, though? No, it I was. It was, rats, it was it? Rats, I thought it was yeah. a rumor that it was rats, but it was Ooh, actually just germs. Okay, chat just gave me a good one. I would actually warn the Russians about Chernobyl. Ooh, that's because a good that one. Fucking, that one fucking event has tarnished the reputation of yeah. uh, nuclear energy yep. to this day. That we can't fucking have nuclear energy to this day, and instead we're pissing away our taxes on fucking windmills that are not efficient. Take up too much space. That is a good one. No, that's no, a very good one. No, again, Patreon no, chat. But then again, nature's just going to fuck us like the Black Plague did when in 2011 the nuclear reactor in Japan. That that there was that whole issue. We already had one nature two. fucking us with COVID, Jackson. But no, that, that's my point, Andrew. Is that no matter how far we go back to try to save lives, we're never going to beat nature. Well, but we can't beat the Black Plague. Yeah, well, Jackson, even with them, that was like entirely on them. They built their fucking reactor next to a shore, basically. Like, yeah, you were going to get flooded. Well, yeah, dummy. and also, <laughs> don't yeah, do that. It was the tsunami that did it, right? Well, yeah, yeah. I, I think it was the shoot. Yeah, the tsunami. so a fucking tsunami or an earthquake or whatever is going to cause shit to break and be destroyed no matter what. You no, know? But, but I'm saying Chernobyl yeah. was incompetence. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. And cover I, I think people would have still had a negative connotation of nuclear energy if 2011, that no. 2011 disaster was nah, the first. Not so. at all. Imagine With if we had 20 or stuff? 30. Imagine if we had 20 or 30 years of nuclear technology being reliable and developed and worked on, and then the disaster in Japan happened. People would be like, "Oh fuck, the tsunami caused that." Without the tsunami, we would be doing great. It's not. It's not. It's, it's so the insufferable, it's, man. Like. It's what happens yeah, after like the nuclear energy is de oh, completely dead. No, Jackson. First of all, the contamination from Chernobyl was way worse, mm -hmm. to my recollection, from watching the HBO show. Yeah, you still <laughs> can't fucking. You still can't fucking go to Chernobyl. No, I you know. Still can't go there. I'm saying people like the general public still would have pointed to that situation, the no. contamination after Fukushima, and they would have no said way. nuclear energy okay, is bad. Okay, then I sent no them two messages, risky. Jackson. One. No way. I'll fit it in 36 letters. One, RBM case can explode. Two, don't build near river. <laughs> or C, yeah. done. Yeah, Jackson, also no one ever brings up that 2011 one ever. Yeah. But Chernobyl is constantly brought up against uh, yeah, nuclear energy. Yeah, but I'm energy. arguing from a perspective if Chernobyl didn't exist in the first place. It's the first situation where something with nuclear energy goes wrong. People are going to point to that. No, it might not have no, the it, Jackson. it might not have the same response as Chernobyl, but, but it, it would have a negative response. Jackson, Jackson, think of it on a different scale. The Challenger explosion. A giant fucking space shuttle exploded due to some minor problems. Did we completely stop space travel and get a band against it? No, because before that we had like 30 years of space exploration that all went great. Didn't space like Yeah. Didn't investments in space go down after that? Not like not just because of that. Yeah, it hurt it, but it's not the sole it, they, reason. They, it, it's not stigmatized like nuclear energy. Yeah, it like was stigmatized at this point. Absolutely but but dead here's but here's the thing, Jackson. Space travel, if your argument is stigmatization, space travel amongst the populace is hugely popular. People love space like exploration. It was the government that defunded it. It's but fun. The, but the crowd was always in favor of space stuff. I'm not Maybe educated in the, enough like, about years. that. I don't know what the general public consensus was around the time of the Challenger towards the space program. May yeah, maybe in the years surrounding the Challenger, it was unpopular. But look at today. Space travel is more popular than ever. People love NASA yeah. and shit. And they want it refunded. It will recover. I, I, don't, I don't think there's like... Especially today, there's nobody out there going to space exploration is just too dangerous. We gotta shut this stuff down yeah. and instead use like uh, Flintstones devices where we, we run and take off the. the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like in wooden ships. Like, no. Yeah. Uh, the difference is, pick. Jackson, that the Challenger happened and people today, most of them, the majority of them, are for space exploration, even though it's dangerous and expensive as shit. Meanwhile, Chernobyl happened and there's still tons of people, especially old people, who are like, nuclear power, super dangerous, not worth it, don't do it. And that's stupid. Those people yeah. are stupid. That's very stupid. Yeah. I, I still think a contributing factor to that is 2011. It is not... No, no one ever thinks that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No one I even remembers does. that. <laughs> I think it does. I think it, it absolutely it. does not. 
It does hint. Nobody <laughs> remembers that happened. <laughs> I do. Oh, man. Anyway, that's the end of this episode. <laughs> Before this okay. entire argument oh, makes boy. Charlie sore. <laughs> Alrighty, oh my okay. lord thank you everyone thank you everyone for listening to this episode of the official podcast tell us what you think uh would you prefer chernobyl or would you <laughs> want the challenger to explode again uh we'll see you next time head on over to patreon.com slash the official podcast for bonus episodes what did we talk about last bonus it was mm-hmm. you said it earlier it was will smith um, no it wasn't will smith was it will smith, will smith and stealing stealing oh, yeah. seth rogan is a cock a weirdo he he, him um what was it oh yeah and then lot. money there was billionaires we talked like an hour about billionaires yeah there's, so. there's, 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 oh, yeah. there's nine you've go seen, three episodes go check it out if you've seen that seth rogan twitter drama with him fucking being an idiot about cars getting stolen and shit we mm-hmm. talked about that on the bonus that was a big one yeah all right so go check it out mm-hmm. maybe you'll like what you see there's 93 hours of content there go yeah if you, if you like what you mm-hmm. heard here, there's and more over there. Thank you. Your investment. Thank you again. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Your investment only. I was just only... going to say thank you again. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> I thought you were going somewhere with that. <laughs> just, you, you I went was just going to th- say thank you again, Jackson, for the compilation oh, no, and all our listeners who helped him. Oh. Yeah, I just, I just was it. I paid for it. Big thanks to Logan and Sheety for putting the... Um, the montage together uh, mm, just yes. great work thank so thank you. you very much and i hope thank everyone enjoyed you. it yeah thank you your investment only goes up keep in mind about a few years ago when you signed up on patreon you would only get like 20 hours of bonus content mm-hmm. now you're at 90 think where we'll be in a year yeah mm-hmm. something to consider we will be at uh 20 again because i'm going to delete right. all the bonus episodes soon so you better yeah. sign up yeah all right Fuck you. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> thanks everyone Put we'll see you next patreon. week Bye. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. See you then. Bye.